Okay, so I'm going to work this problem. Um, it is giving us different job costs and wants us to calculate them for job 200 and 305. So at the end of May, Bergen had completed jobs 200 and 305, and it tells us that our total units for job 200 is 2390 and 305 is 2053. We're going to use that at the very bottom when it asks us for price per unit. Okay. After that, it tells us that on May 7th, we purchased on account 10,000 units of raw materials at $8 per unit. It's not asking us to account for that, so we'll go on. During May, raw materials were requisitioned for production as follows. We have 7,500 units for job 200 at $8 and 1480 for job 305 at $5 per unit. So that is how much we need to assign to job 200 for direct materials and job 305. So let's look and read it. Um, we requisitioned for production, so that means it's direct materials, 7,500 times $8. And for job 305, it is $1,480 at $5. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and make some um, commas so that I can easily read this. All right, for direct labor, it says that um, I have accumulated 2,500 hours of direct labor on 200, and it was $28, so I'm going to say 2,500 times, and if I look down further, I find out that that one's $28 per hour, and then this one for job 305 is 3,000 hours, and that one was for $24 per hour. So that's my direct labor. Now factory overhead is a little bit tricky here because we learned that our formula to calculate predetermined manufacturing overhead rate is estimated factory overhead divided by estimated base. And we learned that the base can be anything um, that is an activity driver. Usually we see direct labor or direct labor hours, as is this case or uh, machine hours. But this one's direct labor hours. So just make ourselves a big note that when we apply it, we're going to be using hours. Here's what that means. Estimated factory overhead is equal to 620,000 because it says that they estimate that total factory overhead cost will be 620,000. So 620,000 is our numerator. Our denominator is hours. We estimate it to be 80,000. So our rate is 7.75. When we go to apply that, we need to say 7.75 times the actual hours. Let's read right here and find out what our actual hours were for job 200. It says that there were 2,500 hours of direct labor. So we're going to times that by 2,500, and that's the number that we get. For job 305, we're also going to say 7.75 times the number of hours for job 305. Job 305 had 3,000 hours, so it's going to be that. So our total is going to be direct materials plus direct labor plus factory overhead for both of these, and the total for job 200 and 305 is 252,025. Now, the next question asks us to determine the cost per unit for jobs 200 and 305 at the end of May per unit. So we need to see what the total number of units are for job 200. 200 total units was 2390, and job 305, it was 2053. So if we want the amount per unit, we would say the total amount, 149375 divided by 2390 And it would be $62.50 per unit for that one. And for job 305, we would do the same thing. We would divide, and we would find out that it was $50 per unit. And so that is how you work that problem. Let me know if you have any questions.